Today we're going to show you the biofringence technique. You'll need a light box or a source of transmitted light and you'll need to use two polarizing filters. One of them will be a large polarizing sheet and this sheet is available from the technician store. You place that on top of the light box and the other filter you'll put over your camera lens. It's a good idea to do a white balance on your um, lighting setup before you start. The, uh, the lights in the light box are usually fluorescent tubes so uh, you might get a bit of a greenish cast. So to get the nicest colours out of your biofringence uh, do a custom white balance on your camera. Biofringence is caused by directional dependence to the refractive index of a material which shows up under polarised light. Here we've got some acrylic materials. These are things that are commonly available in the $2 shop and um, they're kind of a, a hard crisp plastic material. I'm now going to put a polarising filter in front of the lens and you can see immediately that the the biofringence, the colours show up in the material. Now what the different patterns show up in biofringence and what it's used for in industry is that it shows up the stress patterns in an object. Biofringence has been used in industry to detect um, stress, stress areas in, in objects. So if, you've, if you make a model of, of an object, let's say a machine part um, in acrylic, uh, you can see the stress, stress patterns in that, in that model. And you can see where the areas of colour, where the areas of colour are close together like here, and here and here are uh, their areas of high stress. So that's where the object is likely to break um, in use and so modelers can redesign objects uh, to, to make them stronger and they're less likely to fail. When photographing biofringence um, it's very simple. Uh, you basically uh, it's best to have the camera on a tripod, a solid tripod, because the exposures can be you know a little bit low, like you know a fifth of a second or a quarter or a half or something. And the technique is to turn your polarizer until the background goes black. You can see as I as I turn the polarizer, it goes from black to white, uh, the background. And if you have your background set as the darkest, that's where you'll get your most saturated colors. Um, and, then, and then it's simply a matter of uh, your own creativity in finding objects that uh, work well with polarised light. Um, so these acrylics are very good, so you know, go and visit your $2 shop. And the other thing that works well is uh, plastics, you know, even some plastic films. Um, and this is just a negative envelope and uh, I've scrunched it up and uh, kind of looks quite creative. So uh, yeah, just a matter of um, playing with it all now.